Hi guys, welcome to RAM24.com YouTube channel. Name is Vadim, and today we are going to disassemble the smartphone LG V50. Thank you. In our edition, I want to say that the assembly has the two gear or medium difficulty rating and will be disassembled by detaching the back cover, which is glued without haste. The problem is that we received the smartphone without the back cover, so we should have waited to get a new one. Uh, we can only demonstrate how to open barely glued back cover, but I can say certainly that you may have some issues with the cover and the separation because the back cover glued not only around the, or along the edges but at some spots uh, around the fingerprint sensor contact pad and the cameras. To better understand how to open the back cover, please watch our video how to disassemble the smartphone LG Q7. Here is a good example of separation of this cover type. I will put the link under this video. Ok, uh, back to our smartphone. Uh, if you guys are ready, let's disassemble the smartphone LG V50. Thank you. Ok, now we should open uh, in our case barely glue the back cover and as always we should hit the back cover with a heat gun or use a heating mat and heat it back cover up to 70 celsius degree or 158 degree fahrenheit and after that uh, start to open the back cover so we use a um, plastic film or sheet and move it along the edges and so we start from the far corner from the cameras move along carefully try to open the back cover so in your case it will take much more time so guys please watch this moment the specialists show you that the fingerprint sensor has a spring contacts and uh, on the back cover it has contact pad for fingerprint sensor on the other side the some pad for the devices like um, I guess for the second screen and if you pause at um, this moment where the back cover is presented you can see that in the spots where the cameras were located the fingerprint sensor on the back cover where the uh, pad for the devices there is um, a few adhesive that glued the back cover to the uh, middle cores because the spring contacts uh, it helped to hold the cover tight so now we should unscrew a few screws the specialists use a screwdriver Philips 1.5 millimeters or hash 3O and he unscrew uh, a few screws at the top at the upper part yeah he shows that we also don't have in this model we don't have the um, sim uh, and card tray too yeah the smartphone was severely damaged we didn't we we got it with without the back core and without the card holes but we should remove and then both okay he pry around the edges and remove the cover with a um, uh, wireless charge charger and with a nfc tag also there are some pads and antenna tracks pads for airpick speaker 
Okay, now we should use a non-metallic or plastic tool to disconnect the battery connector. Carefully disconnect the connector. Okay, and we should unscrew our screws. Okay, we use the same screwdriver, Philips 1.5 millimeters. Unscrew the few screws, the securing the loudspeaker and uh, an assembly with uh, small boards for disconnect connector and remove the assembly with the antenna tracks and pad for devices like uh, uh, there is a loudspeaker like a uh, second screen and guys uh, you can google and watch how this model looks like with a second screen attached to it it's like a you know second cover that we can all open like a book okay we disconnect uh, two connectors and try to uh, Remove attached to the subboard and the coaxial cables. We we'll disconnect the connector to the headphone jack socket. And we carefully remove the headphone jack socket. It may be glued a bit. Pray it around and carefully remove it. Okay, as we can see, the subboard. Uh, motherboard they are connected with a flat cable that glue it to the uh, display model frame and also as we can see that the microphone uh, not on the subboard but connected with a cable to the subboard. We disconnect the connectors for the display model. Now disconnect the connectors for I guess for the front selfie camera. And now we very carefully and turn over the motherboard. Yeah we see the connector interboard cable connector, we disconnect the connector and now we can remove the motherboard so go back to the subboard, we should unstick the flat cable carefully, don't rush there is a lot of small elements on it carefully remove the subboard ok we should disconnect the coaxial cable and we don't need to remove the small small board for antennas we can just disconnect the coaxial cable connector and remove the subboard in some cases we should uh, remove and replace the small boards for antennas but mostly we should uh, remove uh, the subboard only to replace it or to repair the charger port and microphone there is no need to remove it okay i guess now we're done here on the display model frame we can see the air pure speaker battery vibration motor some tracks okay we remove the assembly of of two from selfie cameras i guess we disconnect uh, two connectors and remove the two rear cameras assembly and one more rear camera and the uh, the they attach to the motherboard so I guess now we're done sorry guys that we didn't 
have opportunity to show you ha how to open the back cover. Fortunately, we we get this model in a bad condition. Okay, thank you for watching. Okay guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy our new video format. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Um, check our website, write your comments and take care of yourself.